one again. Ugh. And today we, is a very special day. We begin another episode of Tits and Ass the Game. Yes. Fuck, I'm which one was the save file? <laughs> Sweet Lou. I wasn't expected to see that. <laughs> Should have seen yeah. that coming though, I guess. Should have. But you didn't. <laughs> Sweet Lou. The sweetest of the Lou's. She looks like a raptor. An overweight raptor. <laughs> Look at that boob vein. Oh, yes. Ain't nothing like veiny boobs. Ugh. Okay, I think this is it. Anyway, well, we're going with this anyway. So. Alright. <laughs> Alright, we're back for real this time. Um, okay, so here's our things. So we got. Dun, dun, dun. So we can go. Wait, we didn't do Sweet Lou and. Oh, these are girls who we... We haven't done Sweet Lou, but they're like side objectives. Like, we can also do stuff with Uma. Oh, okay. Um, so we've got Beatrice, Bizarre, and Sweet Lou. Or we can go back and do Ioni or Luba. So Beatrice is the... The lab woman. Yeah. She's, she's your professor. Uh -huh. Bizarre is a kind of... She's she's an aspiring actor kind of chick. Yeah. Um, Sweet Lou is I don't think Sweet Lou counts as like a progression thing. Yeah. Because you try to get the commissar, the homeless guy, to go out with her, or something like that. But it's not you doing it. Uh, Luba and Ioni will both get us tokens of affection. Uh, what, uh, is, what is Luba? Luba is... she's an infomaniac, effectively. Oh. She's the campus slut. So... Mm. Gotta make a choice, Claire. Uh, Beatrice and Luba? Okay. We'll start with Beatrice, I guess. Alrighty. Because Beatrice is close by. It's Valentine's Day and we're gonna get some loving. We're gonna try, at least. We're gonna make an attempt. Uh, she's in the monkey research lab, I believe. There's Harriet again. It's in the library. And then the monkey research lab. I wish we had a monkey research lab. There's a lot of things that are going on at UWA that I don't know about until people tell me about them, so we might just... Like, yeah. I didn't know we had a zoology course until I met a zoology major the other day. Yeah, UWA has a lot of courses like that. There are always heaps of courses in the university which are so obscure that like only about three or four people do them. <laughs> Um, true, I can no longer drink coffee that much. It makes me feel ill. I'm like, oh, my kidneys. My kidneys can't do it. Ah. Fucking kidneys, I can't do the caffeine anymore. Who drink too much caffeine, they get too excited. <laughs> they might crawl right out of you. Alrighty. We haven't been here before, so I guess there's going to be secret tokens. Yeah. <laughs> See how right I was. Alright, there's Beatrice. Feed them coffee and your kidneys become baby brains. Baby brains? <laughs> yes. Secret tokens, secret tokens. They attain their own agency. Their own body agency? Yep. No, I don't want to feed the monkeys. They start calling for independence. The declaration of kidney independence, five secret tokens. Leopold, the masturbating monkey. He's been masturbating for weeks. <laughs> Pretty much. Okay. I'm not... Oh, yeah. Damn it. For finding some nerdier clothes. Uh, I think the library sells that. So My we're not specialty. <laughs> I love that guy. <laughs> Sticky ones. Not awful. I love the 24 hour delivery as well. Can you imagine working in a 24 hour on a cake shop? I can imagine and I can dream. I need to work in a 24 hour cake shop. A lot of cake bakery. Work we should open one. Okay. Geek outfit. That'll look. Did you buy that? Yeah, we did. Bow tie, 
shoulder sweaters. Uh, we don't need that yet, I don't think. Because um, eventually you don't. You have to buy more than just the outfits. you got to buy um, accessories as well. Man, I love how that's the lab dress code. Just nerd. Imagine if you got you were involved in a course and it was like, the dress code is nerd. You gotta dress like a nerd or we won't let you into the lab. Nerd. <laughs> I remember we could wear whatever the hell we wanted at, um, in my biology course as long as we wore a lab coat over it. <laughs> and enclosed shoes. Alright. Beatrice and on beach for some reason. Shouldn't she be in a lab? Who knows? Well, maybe she's doing a xenobiology, xenobio, bio, aqua biologist. No, marine biologist. I don't know what you're talking about anymore. <laughs> anyway, I didn't hear any of that because. <laughs> Fifth semester in two years. <laughs> but was it supposed to be informative? Fuck, I'm doing so badly. No. Yeah, pretty much. Remember sex ed in our, club, in our high school? I remember them showing us, introducing us to the idea of going in the dark condoms. So that's how you find your man in the dark. Really? Yes. I didn't get that. <laughs> oh, you had AEP sex ed, didn't you? Yeah, we had nerdy sex ed. You had nerd sex ed? <laughs> the teacher just walks in, he's like, you're never having it, and just walks out. <laughs> 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 oh, for fuck's sake! What are you doing? <laughs> I'm not doing very well. Oh, she's mad. Oh, I fucked it up. Oh, we have to do that again. We lost. Yes, I would like to play again. It's okay. Let's just look at some pictures of animal penis lengths. Look at those animal penises and think about your life. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, man. This isn't good. You can't do a uh, unit five times in a row in Australia, can you? I don't know. With Curtin, I know if you, and most universities, if you fail more than twice, then you can't do it again. Yep. So if you fail a unit twice in Curtin, you can't finish your course if it was a core one. Because that's it. You've screwed. Um, no second, ch well, no third chances. Oh, maybe, maybe it's free, but there's, you, if you fail too many times, and that's it. But I mean, if you fail- out the gene pool. If you, if you, fucking hell, if you fail the unit three times in a row, you're, you're probably not passing anything else anyway. True. <laughs> How can you fail a unit three times in a row? You know what's going to happen. That's a good point. What is Larry studying? You never find out. When you insects and people. <laughs> oh fucking hell! There we are. Oh come on! <laughs> Gotta stop burping. Yeah, got it. Alright. 
So she offers us some extra credit. This this one gets really weird really quickly. I like the sound of that. Was that C minus? D minus. Yeah. Do they do they really use the A B D and C system in America? I think in so. in college though. I don't know. Cause I don't know. It seems too babyish for college. Well, it's the difference between using A B C and D and using numbers. Oh, we use we use num we use letters as well, but it's just why is it babyish? I don't know. It just seems like what is what they mark primary school students on. It's like they shouldn't be assessing us on the same stuff they're assessing primary school students on. All right, that's what I think anyway. It's like it's college, isn't it? Meant to be more in depth than that. So what are we meant to do now? I forgot what she said. When, are we gonna feed the monkeys? Yeah, I think that's it. Let's feed us some monkeys. It's not a euphemism. Alright, so this is like a bartender of the game. Like, I can't remember what it was called. But it's this game. And we're like... Okay. Go. So Go. many monkeys! Go. Go. I'm gonna feed you monkeys. You're getting your asses fed. Oh, it's like tappers or whatever. Tappers? That... Oh, I dropped a plate. I can't... Oh. Can't drop the plates. I forgot about that. What do you mean tappers? How is this like tappers? I mean like the gay tampers. Tampers, right. Yeah. What well, you said tappers and I was like, how is this like tappers? <laughs> what tappers restaurants have you been to? <laughs> Probably the best. Just feeding monkeys. Oh, that's poo. Pretty sure I can't get the poo. Hey. 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 Alright, come on. I love how this conveyor belt makes way too much food. I've got to hold down a. It's not even food you're feeding them. No. It's just the. Um... It's just poo. <laughs> They're gonna throw it anyway. It's not like it matters. Oi! That monkey came back for more. Don't you just turn around, you stupid fucking monkey. Gotta catch those plates. I couldn't do that! Did you see that? There's no way to win, because they're both coming from opposite sides, the plates, at the exact same speed, at the exact same location. I would have to have been in two places at once to finish that. And I lost again. I might just... Uh... See, the game gets really hard eventually. Yeah, we'll play again. Stop making that noise. <laughs> Come here. Come here, you fucking monkeys. Feed ya. This is not how monkey feeding works at the zoo. See, you, got, you gotta catch the plates they throw oh, at you. Okay. That's what I was saying, I couldn't win because two food plates are exactly the same time at the top and bottom. So I was like, oh, so I gotta be at the top and the bottom to pass this uh, round then. You gotta use science. Just gonna kick that plate away. Alright, come on. Fucking monkeys. Oh shit! No, that's a fail. Cause I put one too many down. Oh. This game is fucking hard. Come on, I've got to do five rounds of this. That's what it takes to propagate the species. Feeding these fucking monkeys. Show you monkeys throwing their poo at me. Plate. Oh, who is it? I got it. Thank you for mentioning it, though. Oh, come on, gonna feed you monkeys, leaving me tips. <laughs> Why do the monkeys have money? Because. Why not? Yeah, take it. Hey. Hey. Getting there, getting there. This is one of the harder mini games. I don't think there's many of them, though. Oh, so many monkeys. Too many fucking monkeys. I'm gonna throw these at you, you monkeys. Okay, eat it. Eat the food, Tina. Fat lord. You fat lord. Man, Napoleon Dynamite, plus with Leisure Suit Larry. There should be a vote for Pedro campaign in this. <laughs> uh, uh, dodge the poop. 
Don't touch the poo. Look at my nerdy glasses taped together in the middle. Because everyone... My glasses have been through so much shit. A couple of weeks ago, I um, jumped onto my bed and crushed the middle of them. Oh, and man. I had to bend them back into shape. But my property always takes a lot of damage. That's just my fault. Like, I remember once... I came home from work and I threw my iPhone onto my bed and it bounced off the bed and onto the hardwood floor. <laughs> and I was like, are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> really? Because it always, there was a m bit where it just always fell off the bed. Yeah. No matter what I did, like I would put it down and sit on the bed and I would trampoline <laughs> it off the bed. Or I would drop it on the way to getting into my room after work. It would happen every single time. Build resilience. I don't think it That's does. I don't think iPhones right? works like that, no. Pretty sure they get worse each time you drop them. They should. Plate! Plate! Shit, plate here. Fuck this. Uh, come on, monkeys. Gotta feed you. Gotta feed your fucking asses. How many fucking monkeys do we have? Plate! Nah, I knew I was gonna miss it. Because I had to get the monkey and I had to get the plates. You can't oh. get both. There must be a strategy for this. Come on, you fucking monkeys. Boom. 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 Well, they, they say that Boom. one day they're gonna build, like... Boom. For a uh, plate. Boom. I see it. But the, see, here's the thing. Gotta get that monkey, gotta get this plate. Gotta go up and get these monkeys. Go, monkeys. So many monkeys. Plate. Come on, stop throwing it. Oh. 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 <laughs> oh. 